cannot tell you how excited I have been to film this video. I have had this video planned for about six months. Not even kidding. Because filming this video meant that I'm packing for holiday. I'm so, so excited. So we are going away to Spain. So it is going to be hot and the weather looks good, which is amazing. And so we are going away for kind of like 12 days, I think. And we don't have super easy access to a washing machine. So there are quite a few pieces <laughs> that I'm taking with me, but I am still calling this a capsule holiday wardrobe thing because all of these items pretty much all go together and I put up a little short not long ago basically kind of taking the mickey out of myself because I realised I absolutely have a summer colour palette and um, I'm not mad about it. Can you guess what that colour palette uh, might be? I will as always link everything that I can link in the description bar below but as always <laughs> a lot of this stuff I got second hand or it is old and I've had it for years so I will link what I can but I hope that this video will just provide some inspiration for what you could pack for your holiday. Also apologies if there is any background noise but there is not a chance that I am filming with the windows closed today okay this just there would be nothing of me left I would be a puddle on the floor. So I'm actually going to start with one of the items which is new to my wardrobe. I actually just bought this last week and it is from H&M. It is this beautiful, really lightweight, smock style dress. This kind of thing is just my favourite on holiday. I also really love the fact that it has long sleeves because whilst I am, I mean I love the sun wear your SPF, but I love the sun. And I do just love getting as much of it on my skin as possible. Sometimes it is nice to have something which is just a little bit more covered up, especially if you're going out for breakfast or maybe you're going for like a nicer lunch, something like that. I do like to be a little bit more covered up. And also if you have caught the sun a little bit, which you will not obviously because you will be wearing your SPF, but if you have, then something like this is just perfect. Now this next dress is a bit of an odd one because I actually bought this last summer. I got it on eBay and it's actually from Ivanka Trump's clothing line. Didn't know she had one but here we are. And on paper I love everything about this dress. If I could describe my perfect summer dress to you, this is probably what I would say. But I have never worn this out of the house. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the slightly asymmetric hem on it. I don't know if it's the square neckline. I don't, I just, I don't know what it is. And so I'm taking it with me because one of the best ways to really work out if you can get wear out of an item is to sort of give yourself no choice but to wear it. And then obviously if I do not feel comfortable in it, then, you know, then I shall pass it on. It's beautiful. It's so well made. It's 100% cotton. It moves beautifully. It's fully light. Like what? Why don't I wear this? Okay, next up we have another blue and white number. Now I actually got this on eBay, but then I went into H&M and realized it is current season. <laughs> <laughs> so uh snagged a bargain there but it is this very long well it's nearly maxi on me long sleeved cotton and linen blend dress now this is actually 90% cotton 10% linen which is why I am taking it because in hot climates you want linen you want cotton you want breathable fabrics and so this is perfect again it is quite covered up but again, if we're going out somewhere in the evening, we are going obviously in June, and in the evenings it can get a little bit cool, particularly we're on the coast, you know, sea breeze and all of that. So actually having something which is a little bit warmer is just really, really handy. And also I might travel in this just because it is so comfy, um, but still nice and holiday vibes. 
Next up in dresses, we have this lovely little smocked number from H&M again, and this one was only $12.99. <laughs> so quite the bargain. And I bought it because of this elasticated smocking. You can just slip the straps off and just have it strapless if you would like. So very good for getting a nice even tan. And I just love the pattern. I love the colors. And it is really well, like it's not see-through at all. So no need to worry about any of that. And I just, yeah, really wanted a very easy throw on, easy breezy dress. Next up, I have this gorgeous dress, which was actually a Instagram advert last summer. And I just saw it and completely fell in love with it because it's a really girly dress. Like it's got the sort of scalloped edging on the sleeves. It's broderie anglais. It's white, it's floaty, but I don't feel like super fussy and frilly in this dress because that's something which I just can't, I hate that feeling. So I absolutely love this one. And again, it's my favorite, got a bit of a longer sleeve, but it's still quite short. It's super loose and flowy. I can't deal with anything tight at the best of times, to be honest, but especially not when it's hot. Last couple of dresses now, and I'm gonna take this gorgeous one from White Stuff. This is actually probably my current favorite dress. It's the perfect length, it's the perfect kind of strap, so it's nice, you've got a lot of like sun on your skin, but it's not super, super strappy. You can wear this basically anywhere, and I wanted this because I can wear this in the evening, I can dress it up with some nice jewelry, or I can just throw it on when we're going for breakfast. So it's super, super easy. The only thing I don't love about it is the fact that you can see these pockets and they're not deep enough to be useful. So I don't really know why they're there, but I will forgive it for that. And then this is from White Stuff. And again, it is 100% cotton, so super breathable. And I just realized that I didn't really have a super classic white dress. Obviously I've got the shorter one that I showed you earlier, but I don't feel like I could wear that everywhere necessarily because it is quite short whereas this one is just super classy super simple super classic literally no complaints and then in a swift departure from all of the white and blue <laughs> we have one of the only black items i shall be bringing with me and this is a gorgeous little dress from super dry and i knew i would get loads of wear out of this and i have because it's kind of racer back in its style but then it's just below the knee so easy to throw on and i just absolutely love this i also love the fact that it's quite high necked at the front this is always where i catch the sun i just i always do even no matter how much sun cream i reapply i often catch the sun a bit here so i like to give that area of my body just a bit of a break from the heat every every now and again so this will be perfect for that Whew, and breathe that is all the dresses <laughs> we are on to the tops so the first one is this old one from zara i have had this for years and years and years and it's quite different for me for my style this is quite girly <laughs> for me but i absolutely love it it's such a gorgeous length it's kind of cropped without being cropped it's just a little bit shorter than standard and i actually find on my height and my torso length that that is actually the perfect perfect length for me and again i just love this one because it's so easy to throw on and it makes just a pair of shorts and sandals look lovely straight away and i do kind of love the fact that it has these little sort of flutter sleeves so again if your shoulders have found that they've had a little bit too much sun this is a perfect option next up we have the first of two shirts that i will be taking with me and again this is from zara it is 100 percent cotton and this is basically coming with me as a throw over the shoulders job because sometimes like i keep saying you do just want to keep the sun off you a little bit to protect you and again in the evenings it's nice to have something just really lightweight to throw on if you need the next shirt is this sort of more long line, very, very floaty number. Now at home, I would normally wear this over a pair of leggings, but I am taking it as my sort of pool and beach cover up. Now we are staying in a villa, so don't need to worry about having something you know, to throw on over your bikini too much, but especially if we're at the beach, something like this is just perfect. You know, if you're just going to find the loose or to grab a drink or, you know, something like that, then this is absolutely, 
I lied to you, I'm so sorry, I'm taking three black items with me. Really simple, sleeveless, black tank top. I do love having a darker clothing item with me, just in case we're gonna be doing something like a longer walk and you don't wanna ruin anything that's lovely and white. Just having one darker colored piece with you is so great. And this is actually from M&S. If you are struggling to find clothes that fit you, by the way, and you're realizing that you do not have a teenager's body anymore, get yourself to M&S, they, uh, they know what they're doing. This is another of my new purchases from H&M. I had some time to kill on Oxford Street last week and it is this beautiful, loose, flowy shirt. I am so excited to wear this. I will probably get almost more wear of this at home just because this is something I can wear when I'm teaching, for example, because it's, it's fairly covered up, but it's so lovely and light. It's beautiful to wear, feels lovely on the skin. They only had this in an extra, extra large, um, but I'm not entirely mad about it. I've given it a couple of stitches just so that it's not quite so low and it's actually really lovely because it's so drapey. It just kind of hangs on your frame, which I actually really love that look. I think it's quite flattering on me. And I just absolutely loved the color and the pattern. It's the same as the sundress I bought. So if I've got the sundress on and I want a little something over my shoulders, I can just throw this on and you've got yourself a little cold. And then the last couple of tops I'm taking with me are quite similar. So first of all, we have this lovely number. Now this is actually from Abercrombie and Fitch, but I got it, let's all say it together, on eBay. <laughs> and then I am taking this other sleeveless white embroidered top. I actually got this a few years ago and it has been an absolute staple in my wardrobe. I absolutely love it. It looks so good with everything because it's so beautiful. You've got this gorgeous, gorgeous pattern running all the way through it, but it is starting to show a few, a few signs of wear and tear. So that's why I bought this one because it's kind of, it's, it's runner-up, it's replacement, but at the same time, they can both work in harmony. And again, they're just both really pretty, lovely tops, but that are so easy to throw on and wear. Please forgive the fact that these are not ironed. I uh, completely forgot the fact that they probably would need an iron, but this is a super, super easy to wear pair of navy blue chino shorts. And I got these from Tesco. I have these in navy blue and I have them in the black, which I am currently wearing. And these are just, super, they're really soft. They're a really nice length. They're short without being too short. And they're super, super comfortable. If you are worried about chafing when you wear shorts, these are a great length. I absolutely love them. I don't find that they ride up on me either. So they are just the dream. And then, like I said, I also have those in black, which I am wearing right now, but I will be showing you in the cutaways. And then my last pair of shorts are just a super easy pair of denim shorts with a turn up. Super, super easy. Again, I got these from M&S. I got these when I had gone to just kind of all the shops that I used to shop at, <laughs> like, you know, H&M, Zara, those kinds of things. And I have, you know, quite a few clothes from those retailers that I love, but I could not for love nor money, find a pair of denim shorts that would actually fit me. Honestly, it was quite the demoralizing experience. Went in M&S, first pair I tried on. Fit like a glove. I'm umming and ahhing about whether to take my vagers. I really want to, but I also think I probably won't end up wearing them very much because I'll be in sandals the whole time. But then equally, they will literally go with every single thing I'm packing. So if I have space, I will take them. And if I don't, then I'll be restrained and leave them behind. Now you'll have to forgive me with all of these shoes because they are very well loved, they are very well worn. So I shan't wave them around in your face too much, but I will show you briefly. So these are my lovely little slides. These are from Jaws. I just absolutely love the kind of Dalmatian print. And I love the fact that they're super, super easy to just slide on and off. They're kind of like a more elevated flip-flop, which I very much enjoy. 
We do tend to do quite a lot of walking around. Our villa is just like a 10 minute walk away from the local town and we end up walking down there most days for breakfast at the very least. So I wanted something that would be a little bit easier to walk in and so I absolutely love these. I got these from a slightly random shop in Cardiff who I will have linked but they're by Fifth Avenue and they are genuine leather, nice strappy sandals, very, very, very simple but really, really comfortable to walk in which was the uh, main criteria. And then last pair of footwear I will be taking with me are these lovely slides. No, she has not gone crazy and bought from Hermes. These are from Ego. And I actually bought these a couple of summers ago and I haven't gotten a huge amount of wear out of them, but I absolutely love them. They're this kind of croc effect black faux leather and they're actually really really great they're surprisingly grippy sorry for showing you the soles of my shoes but they are surprisingly grippy because they're rubber on the bottom so they're really really great for walking around in and again they just look really really classic and I find them very flattering on your foot they just I don't know they make your leg look really long so I'm going to enjoy wearing these and styling them up and it's sort of similar with the Ivanka Trump dress that I showed you I want to take them with me because I really want to wear them I love them I just don't find myself reaching for them. I tend to reach for my tan accessories a lot more in the summer. So I am, yes, challenging myself. So four bags, I'm literally gonna take a couple of crossbodies and then my rucksack, which will also be my, you know, carry on bag. So I'll be taking my Fjallraven Kanken bag, which I'm not sure if I brought up. No, I didn't, but you all know what that looks like. <laughs> so I'll be taking that with me and then just two easy breezy crossbody bags. I've got my little mulberry one, which I've actually really been enjoying recently because I can't put very much in here, <laughs> which I actually quite like, because otherwise I am that person that will just load up whatever bag I have with me. And then I'm gonna be taking this lovely little crossbody, which was a very, very kind gift from my husband. And I will have it linked down below because I can't, remember exactly where it's from oh sienna olivia that's where this is from and i absolutely love it it's that perfect little crossbody bag can fit a surprising amount in here it's very roomy and yes just perfect for throwing on and will go perfectly with these sandals so yet another reason to use these Whew, we're on to our last categories of items belts i will be taking my ralph lauren tan belt and then my scotch and soda black belt with these little studs on because i just I really, I really like it again go with brown shoes go with black shoes keep it simple and then the last two things i promise are sunglasses so i will be taking two pairs i will be taking my super dry ones because these are the ones that i can push my hair back with so I will probably end up wearing these the most just because they are super super practical but then looks wise I actually prefer these and these are my really classic round Ray-Bans these look good with everything they just make every single outfit you wear them with look kind of cool and effortless and I just oh I love that vibe I aspire to that vibe maybe aspiring to it is kind of means that you will never achieve it I don't know anyway I really really enjoy it is the moral of that story and that is everything goodness me I am exhausted um <laughs> but I really hope this has been helpful like I say I have a very 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 strong color palette when it comes to the summer generally but packing for holiday because I love having options which is why I am taking a fair few clothes with me but equally I also don't want to have to think about it <laughs> I wanted to be able to just grab kind of you know anything and it all work really really well together I know I want things to be loose and comfy and breathable just super easy I'm going on holiday to relax so I don't want anything that's like stuffy or stiff or I have to really think about it or steam it loads or anything like that I just can't be bothered so I hope you are having a wonderful time and I will see you guys in the next one bye